What is up YouTube, SJ and J Gaming here, and today we are going to show you five early game weapons that you can get fairly easy once entering Limgrave at the beginning of the game. These are weapons you don't want to miss, they're pretty OP in the early game. Now this is not a ranking video and everyone plays this game differently, we're going to include a couple different styles. This is just my opinion on the early game weapons to go for right out of the gate. For anyone who hasn't started playing or is just starting this video may include some spoilers so if you don't want anything spoiled now is your chance to turn this video off and maybe come back to it after you've explored a little bit and with that being said let's get into it all right starting with number five our first weapon we're going to showcase is the reduvia dagger you can get this dagger by approaching murkwater cave and as you approach the cave you'll have an npc invasion uh his name is bloody finger Neragus. Uh, he can be a little bit of a pain because he can stack up bleeds super quick. Um, take him down, you get this dagger. This dagger isn't super OP, but if you're playing a dex build and you're looking for an offhand and you want to stack bleed with that dex build, this is a pretty good starting out offhand. Uh, it causes a blood loss buildup of 30. And if we look right here, the unique skill is the Reduvia Bloodblade. It slashes the, with the Wicked Dagger, transforming its never-drying bloodstains into airborne blood blades that cause hemorrhaging. It can be fired in rapid succession. So what that's going to look like, if we come down here to this guy right here, see, after a couple hits even through his shield, it caused blood loss and uh, did about 160 damage unupgraded, and I don't... I don't even have hardly any points in a dexterity, so if you do plan on doing a bleed style build, this is definitely a, a good option to look into getting. Alright, with number four, for all you dex people out there, if you chose the samurai starting class, you're going to start with this weapon, but if you didn't choose that class or you want to uh, get a second one, I'm going to show you where to get it. So starting out in Limgrave. You know, you're going to be down here, Church Ella. You're going to want to make your way north a little bit, almost up to this long bridge. And you're looking for a cave called the Death Touched Catacombs. Now, once you're in here, you are going to light the grace and then follow this path. You don't even have to kill anything. You just got to run. Um, just avoid the skeletons and the damage that they'll do. Run here drop down turn around go through this doorway right here again watch out for the skeletons as uh if you're just starting out they can they can hit pretty hard and right here on this body is going to be the ucha Gatan. now this is a pretty decent dex weapon and of course uh it causes bleed build up it has the pretty standard katana move set um you know your light attack <clears throat> it's going to be your standard katana move set your heavy attack is going to be a charged thrust. Um, you can do a quick one or you can hold it down. And then if you follow into it, it'll do a, a sweeping strike. It's weapon art or Ash of War is uh, it's called Unsheath. And basically you are going to hold it down and you'll hold this position until you either hit a light attack or a heavy attack. Now your light attack is going to do a horizontal slash and your heavy attack is going to do a downward pretty hard hitting move um, doesn't cost a whole lot of FP descaling in strength descaling in dex of course if you uh, if you attribute this to keen that scaling is gonna go up and as you level up the weapon and your dex it's gonna go up as well um, pretty pretty low requirements it only requires 11 strength and 15 dex and with that let's move on to the next weapon moving on to number three this weapon is for all you ugga dug strength builds uh, it is the greatsword. Now this is a pretty, pretty hard hitting, really good starting out strength weapon. It's it's probably, if I was gonna build a strength build, this is the first weapon I would try to try try to get. Um, pretty standard slow greatsword movement. Your charge and your jump. Now I believe this weapon's stock Ash of War is the uh, uppercut 
I can't remember if I changed it because I, I do have mine set to heavy and plus eight from where I was playing around with it. Um, I have Storm Stomp on it. It's a pretty nice little move right there. You can kind of see the damage. Of course, that's it. Plus eight with quite a few points into strength. Um, this is a really strong starting out strength weapon. You do not even have to fight anything to get it and it hits like a truck. So with that being said, let me show you guys where to get it real quick. If you progress through Limgrave and you just run and you run past Death Touch Catacombs across the bridge and you start making your way towards Kaled, you're gonna get this first grace, the Rod View Balcony. And from here, we are just gonna go north and we are gonna look for a caravan. I believe it's just right up here. Of course, just, just take your horse and ride past all this. Because if if you haven't leveled up a little bit, this you're probably going to get destroyed here. Um, but what you want to do is you want to jump onto this, on the back of this wagon right here, and open this up. And this is where you're going to loot the greatsword. And then just skedaddle on out of there. Alright, for number two, we have another katana weapon. However... This one has a slight twist. This katana also causes 50 blood loss buildup, but you can see here it scales with intellect. This is a really, really, really good weapon if you're doing a dex intellect hybrid build. Um, it's got the same exact moveset as your regular Ucha katana. However, this Ash of War is called Transient Moonlight. And it's the same thing as your Unsheath with the Uchi, except when you hit your light attack, you are going to shoot out a magic projectile. But it hits pretty hard. And then if you do the heavy, it's pretty hard hitting downward. Uh, slash with a magic projectile. This is a very good weapon to have if you are doing any sort of intellect, sorcery, magic build, even if it's just in your offhand, just because it scales so well with intellect. Um, of course, the more you level it and the more you increase your intellect, the scaling is going to go up. But anyways, that's it for that weapon. All right, and for number one, the number one in my opinion, best starter weapon you are going to go with if you are playing any sort of melee build. Um, more specifically, if you're going for a quality build, is going to be the Bloodhound's Fang. Now, this weapon causes blood loss buildup at 55. It scales with dex and strength. Um, almost even required attributes. Um, it's just an all-around really good quality weapon that'll carry you all the way into the late game. Well, I mean, once you get this, you you could use it forever if you wanted to. Um, it, it's pretty strong. You know, it's standard curved sword moveset. But what I really like about this is the Ash of War, and it's called the Bloodhound's Finesse. And basically what you're going to do is it is going to slash and you leap back and then if you hit the charge attack button right after that you'll do a lunge forward with an upper slash so you can either just do that and carry on or you can press L2 do the weapon art and then press R2 and you'll teleport back in with a forward lunge and an upward slash all around, this is just an amazing weapon, um, especially early game. It's not super hard to get. Um, basically, it's in Limgrave. You're going to go down here to this area right here. It is called the Forlorn Hound Everjail. You're going to spawn in here, and I'll show some footage of the, the boss. You're going to enter this. It, 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 these Everjails are kind of like a one-on-one -on -one boss fight little arena this is pretty much the first one you'll come encounter with he can be pretty difficult 
I think he, he killed me two or three times before I finally got him. Uh, he moves super fast, and he's using this weapon. But once you defeat him, he drops the weapon, you get it. As far as spoilers go, you can make this fight a lot easier. If you have visited the Mistwoods, uh, right around these ruins, and you've heard the whistle, you can actually come back to the Church of Ella, talk to this merchant, and ask him about it. He'll have a, a dialogue pop up. He will go through the dialogue, and he will give you the emote for the finger snap. If you go back to the Mistwood Ruins, right here on the map, and you perform that finger snap right outside the ruins, an NPC is going to drop down named Blade. And uh, he will tell you that he's been looking for this guy, and when you enter this arena, you'll now have an NPC summon to help you with this fight. And he, he pretty much takes this boss down. No sweat. But that, that if, if you don't want to summon anyone, just be prepared for a pretty decent fight, especially early game if you don't have any other weapons or just your starting weapons and you don't have them upgraded. This guy can be pretty tough. The NPC definitely makes it a little bit easier. And uh, with that being said, that uh, concludes our five weapons you need to have starting out. Um, if you guys got any sort of valuable information from this or if you liked it, uh, if you have different opinions, please leave them all in the comment section. I absolutely love all the weapons in this game. They all have uh, pretty unique Ashes of War, and if you know you like the weapon but you don't like the Ash of War, you can change them. I'm having a blast with this game. Um, it's just amazing. But uh, yeah, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite early game weapon is, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.